Hachi. Hachi. Hola everyone, it's me, Quesadilla, here in my kitchen, and welcome to I So Cheesy with Quesadilla. Today, in my first episode, I'm gonna teach you how to make salsa and guacamole. Right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you, you don't have to look this sexy when you're doing your salsa and guacamole. I'm sorry, I wanna take the pressure off of you because I can help it. You probably have to work a little harder, but you know what, I'm not judging. Let's go ahead and get started with the salsa because it's quick, simple, and easy using the top word Quick Chef Pro. Thank you, big words, not just a pretty face. Then you see the three blades that makes it really easy to chop. We're gonna start with putting the four onion wedges in here, garlic clove, okay, we're gonna throw a little garlic, so this is gonna be garlicky. <laughs> I'm not kissing me later, are you? I know you want to, don't lie. Okay, and then I'm just gonna throw some cilantro in there, again, just to make it simple. Now, I've already prepped for the guacamole, so I'm gonna set this over to the side here, and then I'm gonna put my chopper on the top, just to show you the bottom of this is skid proof. Okay, because who that likes skid in their chonies, you don't want to skid in your, in your salsa. Because that means it's not gonna move around, it's gonna not take a run for the border. So we'll get this set down, and watch. I'm gonna give it a little toss both ways, and then I'm gonna start spinning. You're gonna notice everything's chopping and mixing at the same time. And it makes it simple and easy. Ooh, look at that, it's fancy. It's a fancy machine. <laughs> okay. So, next we're gonna do is we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients to really make this salsa. We have the Tupperware Chipotle seasoning that I'm gonna use. Hello, shameless plug. But uh, this is the Chipotle seasoning that Tupperware created, and look at this. So this is a little tablespoon of the Chipotle seasoning. Makes it nice, I'm gonna, I like it a little spicy. Okay, and this is the zest in press. Now, today, this has a zest on the top so you can zest your lemon peel. But we don't need that part today, we just need the lemon lime squeezer. Now, this is perfect for, for squeezing your limes because it's minimal pulp and no seeds. And I always tell ladies, this can also double as a nutcracker in case he piss you off. Okay! I'm, a, I'm so, okay. We're gonna squeeze the lime. Just go ahead and squeeze until all the juice is coming out. Oh, look at that. Because I'm lazy, uh, we're gonna cut, we're gonna use a can of tomatoes which already has basil, garlic, and oregano in it. So this is gonna be a very garlicky salsa. Now the easiest way to open up one of these is to use the Tupperware can opener. These are perfect, simple, and easy to use. So the first thing you're gonna do is spread the legs. Okay, simple and easy. Now next thing we will do is we will connect the can opener to the can. All I'm gonna do is connect, so wash. Wash how easy it is because you're gonna freak out and pee your wash. Connecting, that's all I'm doing is connecting, watch. Uh -huh. Right, simple and easy. Piece of cupcake. Now this handle is ergonomic, which means if you're a lefty or righty, you could use this handle with no problem. But I am a righty, because I'm not a freak. So we're gonna go ahead and use this to open it. I'm gonna twist it. Now it's easy on the wrist, so if you're suffering from arthritis or carpal tunnel, know somebody that is, this is a perfect gift for them. Also, no shavings are falling into this product and this can opener is not touching any liquid so you don't ever have to wash the can opener so it won't ever rust. Reason for that is because nothing has been cut, it's only been lifted, separated. So, I will re-spread the legs and then I will gonna go ahead and put the hook on the top here that's at the front of the can opener. Hook, close it. What? Simple and easy, look at this. No sharp edges. In fact, I could run my tongue along this can and it won't cut me. But that's a different party, baby. So everything is in now. It's all in, So she said. Okay, so I'm gonna put the top back on here. This is all the ingredients I've been putting here. Remember, you can use your own ingredients if you wanna change it up, but this is a simple salsa that I like to use. And then give it a few little twists, and then, there she blows! It's spinning, it's chopping, and it's mixing the salsa. Simple and easy. <laughs> okay, so now I think we finished. I'm gonna go ahead and twist the top off. Oh my goodness. I just wet my chonies. It looks so good. Look at this, I'm gonna take the blade out. And, wanna take a look at the salsa? We're gonna go ahead and transfer the salsa into the shipping deep container. What is that? Shut up, Condan, I'm gonna show you. This is a large container for all your entertaining needs. If you wanna spice this up a little bit even more, you could actually add a little shot of tequila into your salsa. That way when everybody's eating their chip and salsa, they're gonna feel special and not even realize that they're drunk and you're gonna look so much better to them. 
So there you have it. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the salsa right back into the chip in the container. And a lot of these ingredients you can add, mix, and uh, it's all to taste. So if you want more lemon, add more lemon or anything like that. Let me try it. Oh my goodness. Hold on a second, I'm having an organism. Oh my goodness, that was so good. <laughs> so good. Okay, so that's the salsa. In our next episode, I'm gonna show you how to add guacamole. Actually, and the great thing about the guacamole, when you do add it, we're gonna leave some of the residue of the salsa when we mix the guacamole. <laughs> what? I know I'm getting all fancy on you, so slow down. It's gonna be so good. So thank you for coming to the first episode of I So Cheesy with Kay Sabia. Next up is guacamole. <laughs>